The newest hit from Shonda Rhimes on Netflix is Inventing Anna, which tells the true story of Anna Sorokin, who under the name Anna Delvey scammed her way through New York City posing as a socialite to steal millions of dollars. As Anna is on trial for her various scams and frauds, Manhattan Magazine reporter Vivian begins looking into Anna's story and sees it as an opportunity to revitalize her career. Vivian faces a lot of opposition from her bosses at work, who'd rather her cover other timelier stories and her husband Jack would rather Vivian take a step back from her hectic and stressful job to focus on her pregnancy. But Vivian does receive support from Manhattan Magazine senior writers, who have been pushed aside to a back corner of the office known as Scriberia. Soon, Vivian is teaming up with Anna's lawyer Todd and interviewing Anna and her various friends and acquaintances to discover the truth behind this mystery woman. Early in her arrival to America, Anna links up with Chase, inventor of an app called Wake that purports to track your dream data. Anna claims to have a large family trust fund, which appeals to Chase, who begins whisking Anna away on road romantic getaways. Chase's app is a bit of a scam itself, so he and Anna make for a perfect pairing as they try to manipulate their way up the social ladder to secure investors. But Anna proves herself much more socially savvy and eventually cuts things off with Chase to pursue her own vision, the Anna Delvey Foundation, an exclusive social club for artists and patrons in New York City. Anna sets her sights on a massive property to house her foundation that comes with a $40 million price tag. So she next sets her sights on Bank of America lawyer Alan Reed to help secure a loan. She quickly charms Alan and fakes a phone call as a family business associate to confirm her false claims of a vast fortune. With Alan's support, investment company Fortress comes on board to loan Anna the $40 million, contingent on their own investigator traveling to Germany to personally confirm Anna's supposed assets. During Anna's various exploits and social climbing, she also makes some friends. While staying at a nice hotel, Anna befriends the concierge Neff, who gets Anna's name on exclusive social databases in exchange for large tips that Neff puts towards funding her dream film project. Anna also crosses paths with some other real-life scammers, including Billy McFarland, who you may recognize from the infamous Fire Festival scandal, and Martin Shkreli, who you might remember as the infamous farmer bro that jacked up the prices of prescription drugs. On a getaway trip with friends Casey and Rachel, Anna begins to unravel, knowing that Fortress looking into her finances would bring down her entire life. When Anna can't pay the bill on the lavish trip, Rachel is forced to put the entire $62,000 expense on her company credit card. When Anna fails to pay Rachel back, Rachel betrays Anna and turns her over to the authorities, who arrest her for various financial crimes, and this catches us up to the present day story. When Rachel publishes her own story in Vanity Fair, recounting her experience with Anna, Vivian is forced to expedite her own story, publishing her investigative piece the same day she gives birth to her daughter. Vivian and Todd's investigation into Anna Delvey has become a bit of an obsession, putting a strain on on both of their marriages. While on trial, Anna's main goal is spectacle. She wants a media frenzy outside the courtroom, and inside the courtroom she wants validations that her dreams for the Anna Delvey Foundation had almost come to fruition. Neff, still a loyal friend to Anna, helps achieve the social media buzz Anna desired, but in Todd's defense of Anna, he throws her aspirations for ADF under the bus. Despite his best efforts, Anna is convicted of 13 out of 15 charges, facing 4 to 12 years in prison. Vivian's piece on Anna is a massive success, but Vivian can't help but see the court's verdict as a massive defeat, and makes note of the countless men who have done much worse things than Anna Delvey and suffered little to no consequences. In real life, Vivian is based on reporter Jessica Pressler, who now works as a writer for Vanity Fair and has a new book about Anna Delvey, titled Bad Influence, set to be published soon. Rachel Williams had her own book on Anna Delphi published titled My Friend Anna. Todd Spodek is now the defender of choice for fraudsters in New York. Neff moved to Los Angeles to pursue her film career. Casey Duke is a celebrity trainer who counts Dakota Johnson and BB Rexa as some of her clients. And as for Anna Delphi, well, she was released from prison in February 2021, but arrested again by ICE a month later for overstaying her visa. She is currently in custody, awaiting deportation back to Germany.